Hey, what's up guys? It's our Malieri and I've got this uh, Moto X 2014 here for you today. We're going to walk through some of the features and show you through some of the things here. Uh, so when you get in, you want to launch the Moto app. Uh, the Moto app will help you set up the voice activated commands. Uh, so we walk through the screens. It shows you that it can uh, adjust automatically to your situation and react to movements and gestures. Uh, it can listen and respond to different commands and give you the adaptive notifications, which are really cool. Uh, those will just light up the pixels on the uh, lock screen uh, to show you just the notifications. So once you opt in here to the Moto account, it's going to uh, sync your settings across the cloud with your Gmail and uh, get your Moto account set up. From there, uh, you can explore some of the things you can do with the uh, voice commands here. Uh, and uh, it basically you pick a uh, phrase that you teach it, and once you say it, you can control it hands-free from up to three feet away. Uh, so it's really cool. Let's go and take a look at some of that here. Just say your watch phrase to get Moto's attention. For example, okay, Moto X, what's up? Lisa Lewis sent you a text message at 2.34 p.m. saying, I'm running a bit late, be there soon. Yeah, so basically you want to find a quiet place to set up your phrase. Uh, as you'll see, it didn't quite work out for us here. That phone. So it was too loud and we couldn't record our phrase, so we had to relocate to a quieter area. Uh, and we were able to record our phrase successfully after that. So we just relaunched the Moto app and started the configuration process all over again. Uh, but that was uh, definitely our fault for not being in a quiet enough room for the mic to be able to hear that. So let's walk through that again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up our uh, bat phone here. Okay, bat phone. Okay, bat phone. And one more time, and it should be able to pick that up. Okay, bad phone. And you can see uh, sometimes it suggests different phrases based on the strength and how it can pick it up. But uh, we're going to continue with our bad phone setup here. So a couple more times. Okay, bad phone. Okay, bad phone. And we've got our phrase put into our Moto X. Now, along with having your voice recognized, which it's very accurate at, you can also type in a phrase uh, that you can use to activate. So um, basically you can say, yes, Batman, hey, Batman, any hot phrase you want to say. And then with that, you can uh, follow along with other voice commands like, hey, Batman, um, you know, read me my emails uh, and uh, other types of commands you want to give it with that phrase. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other things we can do here. Yes, Batman. Okay, Batman. <laughs> oh. oh, man. So you didn't say it. Okay, Bat Phone. <laughs> what is Batman's real identity? Everybody knows Batman's real name is Bruce Wayne. Robin is, of course, Dick Grayson, but there are other Robins, namely Jason Todd, Tim Drake, and briefly, Stephanie Brown. So you can see there, guys, we had a great time setting up our hot phrase for our Moto voice. So we're going to dig through some of the other Moto uh, features here that you can use with your Moto X 2014. As you can see, there are some adaptive uh, modes where you can um, tell it to activate sleeping mode. Uh, driving mode will read your messages and play your music with your voice. And with home mode, it can uh, also put it in a mode where it helps you relax at the house. Now, for our business people, uh, we can have all of these meeting modes where uh, you can have it send out canned messages 
as far as you being in a meeting and that you'll get back to them. Here we have our gesture controls. Uh, basically, you can wave to silence your ringer. Um, as you can see, we uh, attempted to demo that here, but uh, it really needs to be on a flat surface for it to work properly. But if you have it on a flat surface and your phone rings, you can do one big wave across the phone and those uh, IR sensors will um, silence your call for you. So you have to reach in your pocket or try and find the silence button. Basically, just wave your hand over it. And as you can see here, it will silence the call for you. So this is just one of the uh, cool gesture features. Another one is that you can twist your Moto X to activate the camera uh, to take some pictures. So uh, with it here, if you just twist it two times, you can see that the camera will launch uh, and that's a really cool, convenient, quick way to launch your camera. If you want to take a picture real fast, you don't have to dig around and look for the camera app. You can just do that. Now, the approach for Moto Display, that is uh, where you will basically bring your hand towards the phone and the IR sensors will detect that you are looking at your phone and turn on either your notifications or your lock screens. Uh, and you can see what you got going on. So that's another part of the gesture controls with the Moto X 2014. Uh, super convenient, handy uh, gesture features on this beautiful phone, guys. Uh, it's one of my uh, favorite phones of 2014. Now here you can go into the voice commands and modify your launch phrase, uh, change it. You can uh, allow or disallow voice activated commands on the lock screen. Uh, you can kind of control if the Calls will go to voicemail without the phone being unlocked. You can have it speak your pin. There is a ton of settings, guys. You can modify which apps show up on the adaptive display for notifications. Again, that's the feature where uh, instead of lighting up your entire screen, it selectively lights up just the pixels you need for your notification display. So you can activate it with a wave and then you can see what you got going on. Uh, these are some incredible features from the Moto X 2014. So from here, I'm going to dig in to some other things, guys. Uh, we're going to get into this really cool feature called the Spotlight Player, uh, which is these interactive apps. So take a look. So guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Spotlight Player feature, which is really cool. Uh, I'm going to show you Windy Day, which is one of the apps. It is going to load. So let's take a look at that. It, this little hat comes down. And then you got to kind of follow along with the story. So where'd it go? And we have a couple more of them, like Buggy Night and Duet Guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at these other really cool Spotlight player applications.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. We went through some of the awesome features of the Moto X 2014, the gesture controls, voice activated controls, uh, 4K recording, and a plethora of awesome things you can do with this new phone. So in addition to that, you can also get great deals from my friends at ATT Deals. Please be sure to follow them on Twitter at ATT Deals and check out some of the awesome deals. We've got discounts on the smartwatches from Motorola. Uh, so if you purchase a Moto X 2014 or a Nexus 6 uh, prior to the end of the first week of January, you can still save some money. And again, I'd like to thank my friends at AT&T for making this review possible. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. It helps me with the creation of the content. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.